Let's begin. We do have the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Five of Cups in reverse. Some stagnation and some emotions, I um, would say overwhelming. Um, some regrets and guilt, feeling responsible about something. Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups. But as I like to say, we still love the bastard, right? Or the bitch, for that matter. <laughs> oh, so bad of me. Sorry. <laughs> But that is love, Ace of Cups, possibilities of new beginnings. We do have the Six of Cups, reconciliation and soulmate. They might be at the distance. Uh, they show up here in reverse, uh, Virgo. This person of yours, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So we now have Death, Scorpio energy. So maybe it might have been an ending and now we are reminiscent about the past and having a new beginning with the Ace of Cups. That is a possibility, a chance there. And we do have the tower, the death and the tower. It has been a mess, right? It has been a struggle. So let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we have the strength, Leo energy, staying strong, high priestess in reverse, breaking the silence, the world, happy endings. Have the nine of pentacles, kind of like the energy of commitment but we'll, we will leave it there because I'm more sensing here that um, is your personal energy and it's one of sensitivity, one of intuition, but also the desire to speak up um, and say something with the high priestess in reverse to reveal whatever you went through while staying strong and aiming for um, happy endings. We do have the world here. Um, an ending as you want it to be, as you manifested it to be. So let's see, we have Pisces Cancer so far and Leo energy. So far, got past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And five of cups wanted, right? We had it all through the shuffling and now wanted to come up, to come out again. This is whatever you thought you were responsible about, it's no longer the case, right? Whatever emotions and guilt and a sense of responsibility, no longer the case, not for you. Not in your energy, right? This is dealing with, actually. It's a beautiful energy. And I love the strength. We started by, um, you know, and because it's a major arcana, it, we started with the message from the universe saying, you are strong. I know it feels like the end of the world. We do have the world, right? We know it to feel like, but actually that is good in endings. And that is um, strength coming your way. And that is courage uh, that you have in you. Now we're going to the past, we do have the tower in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse, right? We are recovering, uh, no doubt about. So maybe this um, um, connection, this love, this situation happened a while ago with you and your person, but boy, we were confused about. And probably the tower moment that came was a surprising one, right? Maybe that is why we were unable to kind of, um, you know, um, end the situation and, and, and be at peace with it because it was surprising is was misunderstood it was not spoken communication went silent right the silence went deafening actually and the only thing we heard is the disruption of our world right with a tower in reverse here but we are healing we are uh, moving up and up um gathering our strength i mean the overall energy is you know um and also being able to speak up um for some of you it might be a revelation of secrets um, and we might be actually healing because we find out something that allows us and it does look like closure, right? Speaking up in the world, it does look like, uh, you know, speaking your truth or finding out something that finally allows you to um, move or to be, to come full, full circle with this situation of yours, right? And strength and courage. So they kept you in the dark. Might have been a, a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this person of yours, uh, Queen of Wands, with the Emperor in reverse, uh, they might have had a partner, uh, somebody significant in their life, an Aries, um, can be a husband, can be a wife, right? It's the energy of a, uh, of a very powerful queen with the Emperor. So again, something significant might not have been completely over, 
uh, when you met this person or when you believed you you can have something with them they might have had this um, this energy around them if this was not a person that they were involved with uh, Virgo the Emperor in reverse is a very manipulative energy so they were a little bit in low vibration when you met them it is the energy of abusing of power of some sort manipulating with words manipulating with their uh, personal status personal power personal influence on you and um, and um, you know and they showed up uh, to this connection a little bit like this and probably because we do have secrets coming out with the um, high priestess as the overall energy maybe you found out uh, or this is what will allow you to get the closure that you need right now mutual energy is between the two of you we do have the lovers gemini energy so yes that was love but there was also unfinished business one of you brought to this connection unfinished business from the past somebody else a cycle that was still in the works um can also speak about for some of you the uh, lack of closure that was given right and the sudden change and the um um i don't want to say the disconnection but the um the rushing into an ending that happened uh, at this point in the i mean uh, ace of swords in reverse is lying right uh emperor in reverse is manipulation so that is something very shady around this connection and i believe virgo because you are such a lover of the truth i do believe that um kind of cut caught you off guard and left you right um without words i mean right and in the dark and uh, standing still here so where are we right now? We do have the Judgment and we do have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Of course, if this is an air sign, we want reconciliation. We want this person to come back. We want to have second chances, rebirth, rebloom of a connection. But I do love the Knight of Swords because it is action and truth. It is a little bit of impulsive energy. So for some of you, you might be on your way to make a decision about something. If it's not reconciliation that you feel in your heart, that is a very kind of harsh energy that I'm going to cut everything off and I'm just going to start my next chapter for some of you. Actually, this is the energy. And it kind of makes sense when we look at the um, shadows around your past connection or the, uh, the past when it comes to this person and revelations and closure uh, that we have as the overall energy. And it's interesting because um the overall energy is because of revelations i will no longer feel guilty right this is when we take responsibility we believe we've done something and actually we didn't and the clarity and the revelations come come to you and it's like okay i don't feel responsible this is not me this is endings and i'm going to stay strong you know and it feels so far as revelations and closure now this person of yours uh virgo they go through the tower moment right now and we do have the two of cups in reverse right emotional disconnection because of a of a big boom in their life you know um putting pieces together going through major changes going through a disruption they might they might be um, in the past they show up with the emperor or if, or if they were an aries they show up with a fire sign in their energy so and they might be a fire sign themselves, but um, it feels like, you know, they might be uh, divorcing, separating from somebody, disconnecting from somebody, disconnecting from you and going through hell uh, for some of you. But I feel it happened in the past. We were healing at our moment and now they have the aftermath of, of this as well. So mutual energies between the two of you, four of wands in reverse, a marriage going boom, and the queen of cups in reverse, emotions running dry, overwhelming ev emotions, this can be about fear, isolation, anger, frustration, tears, sadness, all that, right? And with the four of wands in reverse, it's like this is kind of, um, this is kind of over. But wh what I want to show you, Virgo, your energy is completely different of theirs, okay? they show up here very passionate and action oriented in the past and a little bit manipulative and staying on their throne and you know 
being in a place of um, of playing favorites, right? Or being in a place where they were the, the, the fave one. And your life was in pieces. Now guess what? You show up with a lot of control, a lot of decision, a lot of judgment, a lot of maturity, and wanting to cut whatever is unnecessary off while this person is now realizing and and booming in their own life, you know, with the tower. I am sensing a bit of frustration between the two of you and that is why the difference in energies. I don't know if we say something and we provoke something or they say something, they provoke something in our life, but it feels like a, um, a cat and mouth kind of energy when one is unhappy, well, later on the other person, you know, has it, so... Um, and um, and I would say, you know, a good conversation is needed, but boy, energetically, nobody is available at this time. You're because of the past hurts, and right now you are in judgment mode, so you are in communication, opening up and making decisions uh, in action mode, but they aren't. So, you know, that's why I'm saying when one is ready, the other one isn't. So this is how it feels. Coming your way, we do have the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands in reverse. So kind of the universe saying you have options, but you are not looking. Uh, you have possibilities, but you are turning your back. And probably you stay a little bit in the past for now. When actually you have uh, opportunities, two energies of choices. Two of Wands is the energy of choosing a path and having at least two options. And Seven of Cups is, yes, you have Seven Cups, you just need to, to pick up yours. But Twelve Wands is in reverse. I'm not looking, I'm not watching, I'm still standing in the past. I need the proper closure, okay? This person of yours, they are probably going financially through hell. This is them, Five of Pentacles, feeling uh, rejected, feeling isolated, feeling pushed away, and in need for charity and kindness. Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Financial struggles, and it's uh, absolutely related to the tower moment, to the disruption. It's related to a sense of family that was bringing them stability. Can be you, Virgo. Can be you of, uh, you know, the one that provided for this person, and now they are in a they are in um, um, need of assistance. I mean, royally. And mutual energies between the two of you, Virgo. Six of Swords, Ace of Swords. More and more clear that we need calmer waters. And that is a sense of revelations and truth and clarity coming your way, okay? And again, a sense of, thank God I found out that now I can move on. Now I can turn, um, you know, a page of this um, Virgo. That's energy I'm picking up. I would love to say we still have love here, Virgo, but I do believe that it's more of something that's almost over. We are two, step, two steps away from the end result, right? Two steps away from, from it all. Let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we are guided to do here. And we have, let your friends help you, Virgo. Ask for and accept support from others. Don't stay by yourself, ask for assistance. Um, you know, there is help out there, there are solutions. We do have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And maybe you have a past life relationship coming your way. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. I'm really sensing that at this time we need to disconnect a bit and guess what? Past life relationship might be coming your way. Uh, on holiday times at least that is uh, an indication here of somebody coming back your way we do have manifestation so yes law of attraction yes to manifesting new love allowing new love preparing for new love as above so below we do have the distorted feminine so in this connection we need to pay attention to that Virgo we have something to um, heal to put the pieces back together, to look the truth into the eyes, um, because that is something that we need to put um, back, right, straight. And uh, Virgo, we do have appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. So time for us actually, right? Time for us to manifest, time for us to appreciate the moment 
repair whatever you think needs to be repaired because that is the past life relationship wanting to come your way during holiday times and um but we need closure first and the overall energy is all about truth and revelations and closure okay now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time and we do have let's have some fun surrender to joy a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulging random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times keep surrendering to more joy. We do have surrender to play, uh, Virgo, joy and play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So again, we need to have a little bit of fun. I believe this um, connection, you had the tower, they had the tower. So it was a hell of a tower. Um, and might have been like a, you know, a twin flame connection. They were meant to be in your life to, um, you know, to teach you something. So we do have surrender to complete healing. We have joy and play and complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing so kind of the universe saying you are not healed Virgo and it's time to put your energies and bring it back and complete healing and now we have grief we need to overcome grief I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it and bottom of the deck we do have worry I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome so this is we need to surrender to complete healing because we might still have grief and we might still worry about the situation. And how about some joy and play? Why not, right? Um, so hey, Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.